Hello there and welcome on board the Maldi 32. We currently have a sail with us at Boatshead Port Solent. Um, just a quick video to show you the interior of the vessel. We're starting off in the starboard side of the cockpit, moving through the starboard companionway door. Doors which were replaced uh, last year with uh, new plexiglass and new handles, making them a bit more secure. So we're into the uh, saloon here, good sized saloon. There's uh, nearly standing room uh, at the half side of the saloon. But uh, the, if you see here, this part of the roof is actually on gas struts and a couple of clips to undo and then uh, it pushes up giving, giving oodles of room next to the galley, which is ideal. But plenty of sitting headroom around the table there and a fantastic panoramic view from these windows. Moving down into the starboard cabin, sorry, starboard hull. The starboard aft hull, aft cabin here. Um, underneath that bunk, um, bunk cushions were renewed last year, new upholstery, new foam, and uh, the um, bunk lifts up to, to give oodles of storage underneath there. Also some storage down here, and also there's a foot locker underneath that step. Opening windows into the uh, cockpit there, you see on the port side, and uh, out onto the starboard side of the hull there. Uh, there's also a large round window in the rear, which at the moment is covered up which gives loads of light in here, but you'll see that in the port cabin, I believe that one's off. Got shelf storage here on the starboard side. And then moving over onto the port side of the starboard hull, uh, we've got the nav station and the main switch panel. This whole panel was uh, replaced in 2017 and uh, the boat was completely rewired using uh, marine components, tin cable, and also two new batteries, which I'm going down to show you now, which are underneath the chart table. We've got two um, service batteries. Again, these were replaced in 2017, and one start battery. And you can see on the inboard side there, you've got the um, regulators for the solar panels. Uh, twin 60 watt solar panels at the moment. Uh, one of the regulators is of a higher capacity and can take uh, a further, I think, 100 watts of solar if required. Moving forward, more storage up on the port side there, some of the engine spares, and then now we're into the uh, starboard forward cabin. Very good size single here, very comfortable. I've got storage up top there, and we've also got storage underneath the bunk. A one opening hatch in the deckhead there, leading out onto the starboard hull. So if we move back through the saloon, down to the port side, you can see there the hanging locker. A lot of the lockers on here have uh, fabric closures on them just to keep the weight down. It also helps keep the air flowing through them as well because they're all, uh, all of a mesh design. So that helps and we're now into the port aft cabin, same as the one on the starboard side. Uh, this one underneath the bunk. This upholstery was all renewed as well. Underneath the bunk here we have the water tank, 150 litre bespoke water tank that was fitted, I believe, in 2016. And uh, moving in through the heads. Heads in here use a bit of a storage area as well for ropes and also the Code Zero lives in here to keep it nice and dry. Got a uh, flushing manual sea toilet. Uh, we've got a wash basin with pressurised water and also a, uh, a pull out shower. And there's also a sump pump in the bilge underneath here for removing the shower waste. Into the port forward hull. Again, use a bit of storage on here. Uh, we've got some racks made there for um, paddles and uh, various other bits and pieces. But again, a nice, comfortable single berth with plenty of storage going through to the centre of the bridge deck and also underneath the bunk. Lots more storage on the starboard side here, some shelf storage. And then we're back onto the into the saloon. That lovely view. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like any more information, it can be found at boatshedportsolent.com.